Peace and love, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Sheldon, and I help people ascend their consciousness and help them discover the path to enlightenment. Now, yesterday I was speaking to someone, and they asked me a really good question. They asked me how they can start to control themselves and not be a slave, essentially, to their egoic mind. So I'm going to ask you guys, are you guys on the path to becoming the mastermind? Or are you continuing to be a slave to your egoic thoughts and your egoic mind? This is a very difficult situation for a lot of people in life because the ego is always holding you back from everything that you want to truly accomplish in life. The ego is all about lust and pride and laziness and addiction and the list goes on and on and on. So a lot of people will just act on you know, thoughts that come into their mind right away. Whether it's to get up and eat a certain type of food, or go out with friends every single night and damage their body, or continue to do toxic things that no longer serve them. This is all coming from the ego. The ego is always trying to hold you back. So we need to start becoming more aware that these thoughts aren't necessarily coming from you and we need to start to transition into becoming the mastermind. Once we start becoming the mastermind, we are gonna start controlling our whole reality and we're gonna start taking control of our lives and our happiness and our abundance and joy and, and everything else that comes with it. But first we need to start becoming aware of the egoic mind. We need to stop becoming a slave to the ego and we need to start becoming a master of our own mind of our subconscious mind and start programming it in a very specific way so the best thing to do is to start analyzing your life and start writing down things that you're doing on a daily basis and see if these things are serving you and see where they're coming from and once you start realizing that some things that you're doing on a daily basis aren't serving you and that you're actually just being a slave to your ego, you can start to not control these thoughts, but start becoming an observer of your thoughts. I think the best way to start Becoming the mastermind is to become an observer, an outside observer of your thoughts in a non-judgmental way. So if we could essentially step behind ourselves and start observing our thoughts without judging them, without saying, well, this is a negative thought and this is a positive thought and I have to transition everything into a positive thought because that's a lot of work. But just observe and see where they're coming from. And through that observation, we will start to become neutral in our thoughts so our thoughts aren't necessarily negative or positive they're neutral and this is where we can gain more control over our mind and start to transition into that mastermind the mastermind is going to give you everything that you want in life just like anything it takes practice anything takes practice the words that i'm speaking today i have been you know practicing speaking my whole entire life so they're coming out fluently Writing is another good example. If someone just picked up a pen and paper for the first time ever and haven't wrote anything down, obviously they wouldn't know what they were doing. Everything takes practice and time. Mastery is a very long process. But we have to start somewhere. And I think the best place to start is just to realize that some of these thoughts are, are not necessarily coming from your true authentic self because your true authentic self always wants you to succeed. It always wants you to get ahead in life. And the ego always wants to hold you back. So there's always a battle within everyone, the two selves within everyone, good and evil, if you will, God and the devil. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but this seems to be very relevant in all of life. Everything has balance. So it's up to you what you want to gravitate towards. And the way to gravitate towards the good is to just realize that some of these thoughts that are coming in aren't necessarily coming from you and they're designed to come into you to hold you back. So just start observing and start 
realizing that, you know what? I don't need to do these certain type of things anymore. I don't need to put myself in situations that are toxic. I don't need to hang around toxic people. I don't need to consume anything toxic that's not going to help me grow. Right? Once you can start to get into this mindset, you can start taking control of your mind and becoming the mastermind. So there's a couple books that I'm going to recommend for you guys that will help you become the mastermind that you always wanted to be. The first book is called Secret of the Ages. Now, this book is absolutely amazing. It's all about the subconscious mind and how it controls absolutely everything around you. Like the subconscious mind is literally in control of everything. You can command your subconscious mind and it will deliver. You are the commander. But if you don't know this power, then you just kind of let it rest and it doesn't serve you. But it is your master if you master it. So once we can start to realize that everything is coming from the subconscious, we can start programming it in a very specific way. So this book, The Secret of the Ages, is all about the subconscious mind. How to program it, how to speak to it, what it will actually do in your reality. I have seen very close friends who have put up certain pictures in their rooms and you know into fitness and all that stuff and their body has actually shaped exactly like that certain picture like that certain bodybuilder and this is why vision boards are so important because you don't even need to look at these images if a glimpse of your eye catches it that's being programmed in your subconscious mind and then your subconscious mind starts to deliver it into your reality it's a very unique and beautiful thing once you can start grasping it and understanding it and seeing it work in real life so once we can start programming it in a specific way we start becoming the mastermind so that first book I'm gonna link both these books in the description but that first book secret of the ages is very important to learn you know really how powerful your subconscious mind is and the second book I want to recommend to you guys is called Dynamic Thought by Henry Thomas and this book is absolutely amazing for programming the subconscious mind in a very certain way with affirmations with denials it talks about you know how powerful the subconscious mind is and how powerful suggestions are and how powerful people's words can be like my words can be very powerful for a certain type of people or they can be very negative if I choose to um, you know portray my words in a negative way it's called spelling for a reason right because you can literally cast spells on people you can tell someone that they cannot do something or they're not good at something when in fact they're very good at that specific thing or they can do that specific thing and they will believe you and they will allow that thought to consume them and then never chase that passion this happens all the time especially with parents so the second book called dynamic thought is essential for programming the mind in a certain way and allowing that program to shape your reality and once we start using affirmations we start denying things that are coming into our mind that don't need to come there we start to see a reality unfold in a beautiful way in our way whether you're aware of it or not the things that you're programming your subconscious mind with on a daily basis are governing your reality and that's why you might be seeing a reality start to recycle or be a little bit more negative or things are just keep happening to you that are unfortunate because it's the way you're programming your mind so we need to start becoming aware of it so that second book dynamic thought will help you a lot and I'm gonna link both these books down below and these books are gonna help you become the mastermind and they're gonna help you step away from the egoic mind and no longer be a slave to the ego and start being a master to the subconscious and once we start mastering this mind we will start mastering our reality and there you'll just have an absolutely beautiful life 
So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, press that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll be back soon. But for now, have a glorious day. Peace and love.